natamani kama ingekuwa inawezekana mgonjwa anapokuja kufuata dawa iwe kama mgonjwa anapokuja kumuona daktari anaingia ndani anaelekezwa anaondoka na package sio kumhudumia mgonjwa akiwa dirishani This may be one of the many wishes of clinical pharmacists in Tanzania to be engaged directly in patient care. Wa pharmacia wengi hawana ile direct engagement ya mgonjwa na ile clinical team. Ni wanakutana mgonjwa kwenye dirishani wakati mgonjwa anakuja kupata dawa. Na kazi nyingi za wa pharmacia zimelenga kama ni hospitali kuagiza dawa, kuzipokea, kuzitunza na kusambaza kwenye idara mbalimbali za hospitali. As pharmaceutical multi-actors, we believe this wish is possible through strengthening and effective practice of clinical pharmacy services at health facilities. Through clinical pharmacy services, pharmacists are directly involved in patient care with other multidisciplinary members during ward rounds to significantly impact the patient's overall health and well-being, thus leading to better health outcomes for the community. Wakati daktari anafikiria zaidi management ya mgonjwa ampe nini nini lakini mfarmasia anaweza akawa yuko pale yeye akawa mwingine akawa yuko focused tu anaangalia drug interaction je hizi dawa na anazotumia je ana dawa zingine je hizi dawa tulizozisema jana leo ameshaanza kuzitumia kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mfarmasia anaweza akawa yeye anavifuatilia kulingana na management ya yule mgonjwa wakati pia daktari yeye anaangalia outcome na vitu vingine ambavyo vinamhusu mgonjwa. Kwa hiyo mkiwa wengi pale kila mtu kuna vitu vyake ambavyo anavicapture ambavyo vina benefit mgonjwa. Tumekuwa tuna mifano ambayo inatokea inaweza kaa kuna makosa ya uandishi wa dawa yakapita kwenye eneo tunataka kuja kwenye eneo la dirisha na mwisho wa siku dawa zikatolewa zikaenda tena hodini lakini ukao unashangaa kuna matokeo lakini kumbe wakiwa pale pamoja anaweza kaangalia na hali ya mgonjwa uzito wake muendelezo wake vipimo vingine taarifa za kimaabala zinasemaje unakuwa nafasi nzuri ya kushauri kwamba dawa fulani inaweza ikae na msaidia zaidi kuliko ile yale malalamiko madogo madogo ya wagonjwa yanayotokana na, na matumizi ya dawa yanagundulika mapema kwa uwepo wa mfamasia kwenye hizi round za kuona wagonjwa unasaidia sana kupunguza wagonjwa kuandikiwa dawa ambazo zini, pengine zina mwingiliano lakini pia upande wa hospitali inatusaidia hata kwenye mipango yetu ya manunuzi ya dawa kushusha gharama kwa sababu mwisho wa siku unaepuka kununua dawa ambazo mwisho wa siku zisinge tumika unanunua dawa ambazo ndio hasa watu wetu wamezipendekeza na kufanya maamuzi zinuli na kwa hiyo inasaidia sana hospitali kuendeshwa kwa tija. In 2021, the Christian Social Services Commission through the Multi Actors Partnership for Improving Training in Pharmacy, MAP ITRAP project collaborated with Mwimbili University of Health and Allied Sciences, MUHAS and Action Medio EV with the financial support of the German Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ, to strengthen the provision of clinical pharmacy services in Tanzania. Through the program, a 10-day short course curriculum with theory and hands-on materials was developed and training was given to 104 in-service pharmacists and 31 trainers of trainers of 29 government and private referral zonal and specialized hospitals on providing effective clinical pharmacy services. Tumeanza kuona uh, matunda uh, ya kazi ambazo wanazifanya. Wameanza kuweza kusaidia taaluma zingine katika kutoa huduma kwa mgonjwa na kuwezesha kuwa na uh, matibabu yenye ufanisi kwa wagonjwa. Kwa hiyo yote yamekuja baada hao kwanza kujengewa uwezo wa kuweza kujiamini na kufanya hizo kazi. Wagonjwa wengi walikuwa wakifika kutoka kwa daktari, wanachukua dawa tu bila kuwa na comment yoyote wala kuuliza kitu chochote kama mfamasia. Lakini baada ya kupata hii training hapa hapa kwetu imetusaidia sisi kama wafamasia tunapata muda wa kukaa na wagonjwa kuwaelezea kujua nini changamoto na dawa zake anatumiaje anadhea kwenye dawa au la tulifundishwa pia kuhusu hayo mambo ya kufanya reconciliation ndio tunapitia hizo dawa zake zote anazotumia kama kuna kitu kipya tumekiona tunaongea na mgonjwa kwanza tunamuuliza kama akiwa hana hiyo taarifa pia tunatakiwa tukukonsulti pamoja na daktari ili ule mgonjwa aweze kuelimishwa kuhusu dawa mpya ambayo ameandikiwa tukiwa tunawahusisha kwa ukaribu hawa clinical pharmacists wanakuwa wana mchango mkubwa na si kwetu tu uh, katika idara ya magonjwa ndani lakini pia katika idara nyingine wagonjwa wengi walikuwa wanakuwa na mlim, mlim, wanaandikiwa dawa nyingi 
yani zinakuwa dawa aina nyingi sana ambazo mgonjwa alikuwa anazitumia kwa wakati huo kitu ambacho ilikuwa ni hatari sana kwa wagonjwa Despite all these achievements, challenges are still hindering the effective implementation of clinical pharmacy services in the country. Kaada mingi imelenga kufundisha mfarmasia. Ajue mambo mengi ya kifarmasia lakini attachment yake kwa mgonjwa ni minimum. Kwa hiyo kwenye mfumo wa uliopo na bado upo kwenye hospitali nyingi kwamba mfarmasia hana eneo lake kwenye zile rekodi za mgonjwa na kuandika maoni yake, mapendekezo yake ambayo yanaweza kutumika kwenye kufanya maamuzi ya tiba ya mgonjwa kuna uchache wa farmasia uh, wa kufanya clinical pharmacy services katika hospitali kwa farmasia wengine wapo katika maeneo mengine ambayo pia yanawahitaji yana kwa hii hii ni changamoto ya kwanza inakuwa ngumu kuhudumia wagonjwa wote tunaamini kwamba uwepo wa farmasia wengi ungeweza kusaidia ili zoezi likazoeleka na likaenda mbele zaidi na tusiishie hapa tu tufike mpaka kule kwenye zahanati kwa sababu hata kule pia wanatumia dawa kuna madhara ya dawa pia kule ambapo mfarmasia kiwepo pale anaweza akatusaidia kutukumbusha na kunotice yale madhara ya dawa na tu hiyo kwamba tunafanya nini together with multi actor partnerships we can make pharmacists wishes come true and improve our healthcare system